Cardiokinetics has developed a novel transcatheter implant called the parachute that is deployed within the left ventricle for ischemic heart failure patients. A diagnostic pigtail catheter is inserted in the left femoral artery for imaging. A guide wire is inserted in the right femoral artery allowing access for delivery of the device. After a heart attack, many heart failure patients experience progressive enlargement of the left ventricle or remodeling causing a decrease in cardiac output, resulting in heart failure symptoms such as shortness of breath. As the procedure begins, contrast dye is injected into the heart to determine the proper location of implantation. The guide catheter is advanced near the apex of the heart and once in position, the guide wire is removed to allow the delivery of the device. The parachute implant, which is comprised of a fluoropolymer membrane stretched over a nitinol frame, is prepared for implantation. The tab connected to the blue sutures can be pulled to collapse the device. The parachute is hand screwed onto the end of the delivery system. The device is then submerged in a water bath in order to remove any air from the system. The tab connected to the suture is pulled to collapse the device and prepare it to load into the delivery catheter. The parachute is pulled into the loader and once in position, the loading funnel is removed and discarded. The loader is then connected to the temporary introducer, which will be used to connect to the introducer sheath. The flush valve is opened as the device is advanced into the sheath in order to remove any air in the system. In some cases, a small air bubble can be seen moving towards the flush valve. Once the air is released, the flush valve is directed towards the saline infusion line, allowing saline to flow in behind the parachute as the parachute is advanced into the guide catheter and the temporary introducer is disconnected from the introducer sheath. The temporary introducer is then twisted into two components, where the clear piece will come off the delivery system and the white component will easily tear in two pieces and then can be discarded. The parachute is then advanced through the guide catheter using the delivery system to the point where the foot is just distal to the catheter. The foot is radiopaque, which will help with locating the final position. Once in position, the diagnostic pigtail catheter is pulled back to allow for the parachute to be deployed without obstruction. To ensure full deployment and anchoring into the heart wall, a 20cc balloon is inflated for approximately 30 seconds. In order to prepare to remove the delivery system, the balloon is deflated, which may take up to two minutes, and the guide catheter is moved closer to the base of the parachute. The end of the delivery system handle is unlocked by pulling out the blue knob and then rotated counterclockwise five rotations. The delivery system is pulled back into the guide catheter a few centimeters and then the entire system is pulled out of the body.